Tell me, what do you think of this sign? What's your opinion? The handwriting was bad. Oh, ah. Uh. I agree. I agree with you not being in the environmental destruction. Who made animal abuse? Animal abuse. That's true. I'd be watching the video. Where do you disagree? Where do you disagree? I love meat, so I can't be a vegan. <laughs> But I do not like people that overly abuse animals. I don't yeah. abuse animals. Yeah, like overly abuse. But I do believe in the food chain, you know. Like yeah. And you're on the top of that food chain. So here's a question. If we could eat plants and let's say we could create burgers and just about everything you love, the same texture, the same taste. Like bean burgers. Yeah, well, have you ever had a Beyond Burger, Impossible Burger? So, so they, they, they bleed, they, they cook like real burgers. It, it's just getting better and better. The more people that buy these products, like you don't even have to just switch straight overnight. I would, I would just suggest- Transition? Yeah, yeah, or just like support these products. Hey, mm -hmm. thank you. So um, the question is, if we could get the same things, not have to kill an animal, use less water, less land, and there'd be no human exploitation, I could explain that later if you mm -hmm. want, then what would be holding you back? Money. You can make it taste Money, like because veganism oh, it, it, is expensive. expensive. Yeah, being like organic, all that stuff is all that stuff. Right, so the my my response to that would be the the cheapest foods in the stores are are actually like rice and beans, lentils, and fruits and vegetables. You're you're gonna want to buy anyway. What what you're gonna be switching is your protein sources, yeah. and, and and the cheaper versions are the plant source. Like like you can buy. 50 pounds of dried beans at Sam's Club for like way cheaper than um, beef. Um, and so it's definitely cheaper, but the, then comes in the, the taste because then nobody wants to just eat beans. So, so, so there is like Impossible Burger and Beyond Burger, but, but there's a balance. It's, it's really not that much of a big difference as far as like how much money you would be spending. I would, I would suggest doing some research. If you're interested, don't listen to a random superhero. <laughs> um, and, and, Maybe just at the store, just actually compare prices. Maybe just try some recipes. I mean, try it out. You got nothing loose. True, my mom made. She's trying to go vegan. And she failed, but she, <laughs> she made something, and it was good. Sometimes so I just too. love meat. I can't give it up. Yeah. Unless you can change my mind and give me like something yeah. that tastes exactly Do like the me. black bean burger at the shop. That's vegan. I would say Fresh. Beyond Burger and Possible Burger taste exactly like me. There's there's Guardian chicken strips that taste extremely like chicken, and it's it is like a, a dollar or two more. It's it's at Walmart, mm -hmm. uh, but it definitely tastes the same. And a good question would be, what matters more to you, your taste buds or life? <laughs> okay, so are you vegan? Uh, yes, yes, yes. I well, I, I, I try not identify. This is more of a character, but I, I haven't eaten animal. I eat it. I have not eaten animal products for about two and a half years. Okay. So. I love cheese though. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's some good vegan cheeses out there. There's some good vegan cheeses out. You yeah. you can make your own cheese. Uh, are are you aware of the process of dairy? It's really sad. I could explain it to you if you want or not. You're not aware? All right, here it goes. It's really sad. Okay, so a mother cow is impregnated, usually forcibly impregnated. It's called artificial insemination. So since we're breeding so many cows into existence to take their milk, uh, we have to forcibly impregnate them. And then they take away the children after, uh, after nine months. And then they usually kill the, the, the baby cow if it's a male because baby cows don't produce milk. And, and, uh, or they raise it for beef. Um, and so... If it's a female, then they raise her and they keep impregnating her, keep taking away her, her children until uh, she dies at about one fourth of her natural lifespan. And uh, the industry calls them downers because they usually collapse from uh, exhaustion at uh, around four years of age. They, they could live to about 15 years. And so um, that's where dairy comes from. Um, cows that have been <laughs> repeatedly impregnated, ha having their babies taken away because their babies would drink the milk. Yeah, it's really dark. I'm I, I'm sorry for telling you guys that. Although it's good to know, it's good to know where dairy comes from because it's like you go to the store and then you see the happy cow like milk. on the cover. <laughs> oh hell yeah, hell yeah, they got it here. Really? I like the taste better. It's sweeter than. I don't know. You have to really, you have to really put like something delicious in my face. 
Well, I tell you what, I have a food stand. I have a food stand. I'm actually, 